Mr. Holmes, you look rather unwell. Perhaps you would rather stay here and keep Millicent company. Sherlock Holmes charmed me. <laughs> to meet you. Millicent is the subject of my research. She was raised by feral cats. She has the mental capacity of a four-year-old, but it is my belief that with sufficient electroshock therapy, she can achieve the intellect of a six-year-old. We are truly in the golden age of medicine. <laughs> There's nothing left to learn. No. <laughs> what a creature you are. <laughs> but devouring that onion with such passion. Strangely arousing. Dr. Watson, I have always been taken by your unwavering devotion to Mr. Holmes. But haven't you ever considered something more? Perhaps a code detective? He and I? Code detectives? Yes. <laughs> oh, the very idea. <laughs> Solving crimes together? Laughing and enjoying the esprit de corps of two best friends pursuing a noble course madness. <laughs> no, no, not I. Not here. Not even in my most rapturous moments of private fantasy. Anyway, let's go clean this cake covered bastard, shall we? The wonders of modern medicine. Now, you're going to laugh, but I found the most important tool of an autopsy is music. Yes. You too? <laughs> this one always gets me in the mood. So begins the dance. <laughs> we have some dribble. Just a touch of dribble. <laughs> mm. There is something so sensual about it. Forensic autopsy, isn't there? Your eyes say more than words ever could. <laughs>